So when I graduated nursing school in 2016, I had interviewed for a job as a staff nurse at ReCorp, um, along with a few other opportunities that I had coming out of nursing school. I initially turned down the job and I took a job working at Mercy in the emergency department. Started there and realized very quickly that it just wasn't what I wanted to do and what I liked and the type of nursing that I wanted to, type of nurse that I wanted to be. Um, worked there for a few months, was pretty much unhappy going to work, just didn't feel right, wasn't the right thing to do. Um, I actually had an incident where patient came in he had gotten drunk fallen off of his front porch landed on a rock and had a huge gash in the back of his head stitched him up his wife gets called and she comes in and she's just sobbing and in tears and it turns out for her that she had been dealing with his drinking for a long time um, he had lost his job he was home and was just drinking all day long he was hiding alcohol out in a barn and all this stuff and her and I ended up talking for about 20 25 minutes telling her about my recovery and my journey and going to meetings and what that meant for me. That night I got pulled aside by my preceptor and was told, you spent too much time with that patient. We need to take care of them. We need to move on. There's other people that need to be taken care of. It's an emergency department. Kind of went home that night and that really kind of put into place that it wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, there had been, unbeknownst to me, some changes. Recor had gone through a restructuring. There have been some changes in HR. There have been changes in onboarding and some different people. And uh, Kelly Sober actually remembered me from my interview, was going through, reached out and called me. And I'm like, I might be interested. So I came in and interviewed for a job and started at Recor as a staff nurse. So for myself, I am um, 10 years, well Christmas Day of last year was 10 years sober um, and prior to getting sober I wasn't a nurse, I hadn't gone to school yet, I hadn't made these changes. Um, throughout my sobriety I've been very open about it, I talk about it, I share, I lead, I sponsor. It was a real active part of my life. Um, I was very active with AA um, and truly took on and enjoyed the aspect of sharing my journey with others. Um, through what I was just telling you about with my previous job at Mercy, it taught me that I also needed that in my work. So coming here and being a part of this, it allows me to see that person on day one, to see when they're like, I don't know what's coming, I don't know what's ahead, and share with them a little bit. I was there. I know what, you know, I remember Christmas Eve 2010, going to my first meeting, talking to my wife that night, What what is this? I have this blue book in my hand and it's all about God, and it sounds like a cult, and it sounds like, you know, um, and having that anxiety to feel at that first meeting, to know that this change was gonna change everything. Um, people that I spent every day with didn't wanna be around me. People that, you know, I was active in their lives needed to change. Jobs, things that I did, I was a DJ, Realized pretty quickly that it's difficult to be a DJ in a bar and trying to be a few days sober um, You know, there was a lot of changes coming and I can share with that person that I'm sitting down with Getting paid for it. It's my job. That's a win um, And share with them those things that happened to me that anxiety and let them know that I understand how they feel and You know look at the difference. It's it, it'll get better There's a common misconception that to work in recovery you need to be in recovery i don't think that it, it that's a i don't think that it's necessary but i think that if you can look at someone and say i understand what you're feeling first of all if they have no clue then it's pretty hard but i can look at somebody and say i understand what you're feeling because i was there i went through treatment i went to crisis center i went to iop i went to i did all of this I did the things that they're telling you today that you need to do. And by the way, I'm not that smart. I'm not that wise. I'm nothing special. And if I can do it, you can do it. And I truly think that I've, you know, I share my story quite often. And I think for a lot of people, you know, they look at, okay, this guy is nothing special and he did it. He's doing it. You know, and I can also tell them that I'm still active. I'm still talking about it. I'm still in the program. And also, there's a selfish side of it because there's a lot of people that I talk to 
that it doesn't work for them. But that, for me, makes me realize the difficulty that it is. And it makes me a little bit stronger to continue on my path.